Hi, this is George Cow, and today I present you with a simple tool that will help you create a healthier relationship with your money. I've been using this tool for at least five years. Probably, I, I can't remember how long it's been, but as long as at least five years. And it really has improved my sense of financial security. <clears throat> and having greater sense of financial security has given me more creativity and courage in my business. And uh, I think it'll really help you to have a uh, less anxiety and greater sense of uh, control over your money as well. So let's get going. And this tool is free, and I'll show you how to get to it later. So um, this tool works best if you have a separate savings account. Okay. Uh, the when so first thing you do is you come into this tool and you fill out your goal amounts for whatever categories um, you want to fill out. So I don't have any. Children uh, at this time, so I wouldn't put anything there, but I do have pets. So let's say, and these are kind of emergency. So if something happens uh, and you don't have insurance to cover it, uh, you know, what what would you like to have in the mountain there? I I have pet pet health insurance, but um, there's a deductible, and I think the deductible is something like, you know, um, five hundred dollars or something like that. So I'm just going to put five hundred dollars. Okay, as the goal amount, dental emergency. Um, uh, I, you know, depending on what you think yours might be, but I think let's say a thousand dollars would be safe for that. Uh, car emergency. So I don't actually need a car for my work, but if you do, and if your car breaks down, you need to fix it. You know, do you have money set aside for that? It's really nice when you do. So let's just say a thousand dollars as well. Computer tech appliances. So, if your computer breaks, like for for me, for example, my computer is incredibly important for my day-to-day -day work. And so, if my computer breaks down, I need to fix it or buy a new one. Uh, I need to have money set aside for that. And so, I'm just going to say 1,500 there. Vacation. It's really important to take vacations on a regular basis for your own sanity, renewal, not burning out, creativity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, vacations don't have to be expensive, um, so uh, I'm just gonna put in here. Let's just say, oh, I'll put in a thousand. Okay, six months of living expenses. That depend depending on what your regular monthly expenditures are, you multiply that by six. It's a good idea to try to save for a six month living uh, expenses buffer, just in case your income for some reason stops, and you need to live off your buffer for a little while. So. I'm just going to say, let's say your living expenses each month is, you know, four thousand uh, dollars. Six months would be uh, twenty-four thousand. Okay, twenty-four thousand. And you can even start this by saying, you know what, I'm just going to make it something doable, more doable for now. And I'm just going to say, say three months since I haven't saved anything here. I'm just going to do that. Uh, for retirement account, now this is also really helpful to continue saving for your retirement. I'm just going to put in uh, ten thousand. Okay, business improvement, you know, funds so that you can hire a business coach or invest in some some business systems or whatever. Um, just going to say twenty five hundred. Okay, dream project. Maybe you have you want to invest in real estate or whatever for parents if you feel like you need to support them. Charity. And finally, this taxes thing is hard to say what the goal is, but basically, uh, every month that you make money, you should set aside thirty percent for taxes. So let's say that the past month you made, I don't know, let's say you made three thousand dollars, then you set aside a thousand dollars, okay. And then the current amount is every month when you transfer money into your savings account, try to save a little bit for each of these categories. So let's say you save a thousand dollars, or let's say you save five hundred dollars, and then you're going to save another fifty dollars here, you know, a hundred dollars here. You just so that this month, you know. You you um, you save six hundred fifty dollars. Transfer that into your to your savings account, and then you have this much left that you know you, you're going to keep going. So just keep updating on a month month to month basis, and I'm hope hoping that this is helpful for you to uh, as you keep updating every month and transferring more money into your savings account. Eventually, you want these numbers and the goal amounts to get to zero. Um, so that you've met your goals, and that way you feel like, gosh, I have X, I have thirty thousand dollars in my savings account, and now I know what that's really set aside for. So I hope that's helpful. I'm always open to your questions. Oh, one thing I want to show you how to use it is, you first have to have to be logged in to your Google Drive account. Google Drive is free, 
I use it every day. Log into your Google Drive account and then go ahead and click on the link that's in the notes of this video and the link will bring you to this page. You then click on use this template and that will allow you to copy this for yourself and the, the, um, the yellow cells by the way are formulas and don't touch those. Those are automatically updated. You just fill in everything in the white cells. Um, and these are just for your own comments if you want to write anything there. So I hope this is helpful and um, let me know if it, if it, uh, if it works for you. All right, take care.